So three is my breaking point, and this circle for this line is going to be open because it is not included when x is equal to three. So we're going to lightly draw the two. Oh, it says it in the book. <clears throat> but I'm rewriting it to make it more clear exactly what I'm trying to graph here. Okay? So we're going to start with this first line. And you know what you can do? Instead of graphing them together, you know where your breaking point is. You only make that first one along until uh, the water stuff forms. Yes, it was f of x equals negative x. Okay, which means y equals negative 1x plus b. Well, there is no b, so b is 0. Yeah, but this is also in y-intercept form. It just doesn't have the x term. It has 0x, which means it has a slope of 0, so it's a horizontal line. Anyone, anyone that has x's in it, make it into y equals mx plus b form, okay? But this, we should recognize from yesterday, you remember we repeated, we went over and over and we did a bunch of them? That is a horizontal line. We should recognize that, okay? So Here's my breaking point. Oh, it's gonna help? Okay. Here's your breaking point. Your first line, crosses the y-intercept at zero, and from this point has movement of a negative one slope, which means down one and to the right one, okay? So it's a line going through those two points that exists to the left of three and all the way up to and equal to three. <coughs> So when I get to that breaking point, that wall, I'm going to close in my circle because it is included when x is 3. Now my second line is a horizontal line going through the y-axis at 2, but it does not pick up and exist until I get to where? 3. Until I get to this point. <clears throat> but does it exist at that point? Because I started with my y-intercept, I moved according to my slope to be able to identify my line, okay? And then I drew my line, and then I've got to show whether it is included at this breaking point or not, okay? So this is representative of my y-intercept. This is representative of the next point that I found when I followed along my slope. And this represents the fact that at the breaking point, this is included. <clears throat> if you look in the, in the problem, it says if x is less than or equal to 3, and if x is greater than 3. Okay? My horizontal line picks up at my breaking point and continues to go. And this is what your piece func piecewise function should look like. Yes, you will always have either two open circles or an open circle and a closed circle. You can never have two closed circles. Why not? Because then with the vertical line test, it's crossing this thing more than once and it's not a function. Okay, and we're saying that this is a piecewise function, so we've already called it a function. All right? Now look at number 40. How many breaking points are there? Three. Not three. three. Two breaking points. There is a breaking point at negative three. There is a breaking point at positive one. All right? Does everybody see that? Nope. Nope. Well, why is it? Yeah. Number 40 says f of x equals x, blah, blah, blah. If x is less than negative 3. So as long as x is less than negative 3, there is a function that exists. Once you get to that point, the next line says when x is between negative 3 and positive 1, there is a different function that exists. 
And then the next line says when you get to 1, there's another function that exists. All right? So let's look. If you notice here, I have the function that exists on the left side of my breaking point on the left and the one that exists on the right on the right. Do you all see that? Okay. Well, here we've got three functions that exist. My breaking points are negative 3 and positive 1. So watch what I'm going to do to try to help myself out here. I have a breaking point here at positive 1. And that's not very good there. And I have a breaking point here at negative 3. Okay? <clears throat> Which function exists on this side of negative 3? <coughs> Just read the problem. Hey, here you go. This is the function y equals x when x is less than 3. So, ne negative 3, excuse me. So, to the left of negative 3 is the line y equals x. Then it says it equals 2 if x is between negative 3 and positive 1. All right, and I can't fit my thingies. Less than or equal to or just less than. So, between here... Y equals 2. F of X equals 2 if X is between negative 3 and, four, and 1. And then it says F of X equals negative 2X plus 2 if X is greater than or equal to 1. So when X is greater than or equal to 1, on this side, I have the line f of x, which is the same thing as y, y equals this. Now, i got to erase that because I don't have any more room to fit stuff. y equals negative 2x plus 2. solve for anything yet. She means solve for x. I'm simply wrong. Guys, look. Let me, let me explain what this thing is trying to show you. How many children are in your family? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Okay, never mind. How many children are in your family? Two. Okay. Brennan is a Sibyl. Okay? The children in the Seville family are Brennan and his brother. Well, that's where you spelled it wrong. Michael. There you go. Okay. There are two children that belong to the Seville family. Brennan, Seville. Michael, Seville. Okay. In these things that we are looking at, There are two functions that belong to f of x. In this one, there were three functions or three children that belong to f of x. The first one is x, the second one is 2, and the third one is negative 2x plus 2. This equals x, this equals 2, this equals this. Because that tells you where they exist, okay? That tells you in the house where is the bedroom, okay? 